Welcome back all you space lovers, it's craziness with the internet here and we are back again with another pirate PvP roaming series in EVE Online. Today in our pirate PvP roaming series we will continue on with our vengeance roam. Now you guys I did get into a lot of incredible fights with this ship so this is part 2 of the video. Now if you did not see part 1 do look down in the description below and you can click the link down there. And I will pop up on the screen right now some of the other videos that you guys can see if you have have not seen for yourselves and you could also find the links for those down in the description below but with that let's get back out on this roam i have located a catalyst navy issue over here and i am going to try to go for it i do want to make sure that i have my nova rage ready it is always a hard fight for me when i do engage a catalyst navy even in this style of a ship all right here we go Warp drive active hopefully it's right on the button <laughs> He's hitting pretty hard. I'm gonna time my reps. So far, so good. Our timing it. I gotta make sure that I don't run out of cap. Seems pretty plated up. Come on, baby. Might do a double here this now. Keep my weapons. Come on. Hold them. I gotta go for another one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. E. Come on. Another one. Come on. Keep the weapons. Can't burn them out. Oh shit. He got us there. Is he gonna break us? He might break us. Come on. He almost broke, broke us there with that hit. Come on. A couple more volleys. Ah! If he hits crits me, I'm dead. Ooh. Always a good fight, my friend. 07. Alright, that was a good little fight. I do got to hit the station and repair. He did beat me up pretty good there. And remember, I do not have any tank or any structure tank. I am pure active, which means any solid hits from my opponent, I'm pretty much done. Right, let's get these repairs did get some repairs here now we can quickly look at his kill mail as it was a high dps catalyst as you can see right here in his rig slots he did have a burst aerator too and it looks like he does have a magnetic field stabilizer and a 400 millimeter roll tungsten compact plate this allows him to have the small traversal bulkhead twos here for bleed effects giving him a heavy tank this is one of the high dps catalyst builds there is one more but this is the second best gf brother also you guys can see that i I was under heavy pressure on my own stability there under the pressure of a heavy opponent so you do have to be careful when utilizing builds like this and make sure that you are on point of your own modules all right the system's clear i preset my jumps for around five to eight jumps so let's see what we can get into along the way ah we got a pit here i try to make this gate fuck you Go through. Go through. <laughs> I'm not sure if that group is hot on my tail, but there is an open here, and I do see a Caracal Navy in it. Maybe I'll be able to break this guy. If I can keep my traversal up and lower his explosion radius, I'll be able to get him. Oh yeah, we're nice and close to him. Your security status has been lowered. I gotta get as close to him as I can. Got a weapon. Got no newts on me or nothing, so I am stable. We can break them. It's gonna be a hard fight. The booster's activated. But his DPS output will be extremely low against me. Now hopefully this isn't his friend. Now I'm gonna bleed a bit. Make him think he has me. That way he won't call for backup or something. Uh, bleeding a bit. Rep again. Rep some more. Alright, the bleed is good. Let's heat our weapons now. Go into a reload. 
load here. This is an incredibly hard ship to crack. I need to get my DPS back on quick. Because it does auto regen. I'm going to bleed some more now. I'll keep my cap up. I can't eat my weapons anymore. No, I'm gonna eat them a little more. I have to. More people are coming in the local. You guys, I might have this thing cracked here. I'm trying. I want it to a reload again. Come on, baby. Long fight. Caracal Navy issue. It's nothing weak to an assault frigate, you guys. I'm just getting under his traversal bit. And I'm mitigating his explosion velocity. You see how it's blowing up behind me? He's reloading. I'm gonna bleed some more. I'm gonna touch that on. I'm gonna let him know. I don't want a manual pilot on the screen. I just want to keep it steady to his traversal. Right, his shields are going, man. He had a lot. He was a thick bullet. Casey's heating. We're gonna go into a reload again. Oh, we're touching his armor now. We're gonna fucking reload again. We reloaded three or four clips. We're holding strong. If that's not one of his friends, do a long scan. He's hurting. He's hurting. He's talking in local. Come on, baby. About to break. Ooh. Can we get the spot? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. GF, brother. I did just dock up really fast and I did quickly repair. Now, we do have some items in here from killing that guy, so I'm going to drop that off right now. And I do still have some stuff from before, so I don't need any of this or this or this ammunition. I am carrying different resistances right here. As you can see, I do have explosive and kinetic, and I'll switch those when needed. All right, let's get back out there. This guy, Tristan, had me pinned here. I did manage to outpilot it. Now I've got it pinned. It's going down nicely. There's not much more it can do now. Should have fled when it had the chance. Let's finish it off here. Oh, it's cracking hard. Night night, little guy. GF. Oh, you let me get your pod. Nice. Alright, I do see a Thrasher Navy issue in here. Now remember, most of the time they do use their mid and long range control with agility. Oh, oh he's gone. But we do have a good engagement profile against any Thrasher fleet issue for our high explosive resistance. Looks like I managed to land near a MOA here. It, it does say rail test on the D-scan, but we all know that's a lie. Alright, if I do get on this thing, it is going to pressure me incredibly hard because MOA's hit super hard. And they are godly and wrecking small gangs. Most players don't think of this as they think of cruisers as 1v1ing themselves. But the actual role here of the cruiser oh, breaking is that it wrecks frigates. And gives the frigates a chance by killing the destroyers that are supporting them. Oh, oh he's getting a good angle here. No, no. We're going down! Ah! 
Yeah, man. Seen right before I blew up there, I didn't have my web on. Well, it was a good little fight, but it is a MOA. We are back in Zarzak now. I did go down trying to fight that cruiser. Now, remember, you guys, when you try to take on any Tech 1 cruiser, Interdiction cruiser, Recon cruiser, or even a Tech 2 cruiser, you will face incredible odds as they are meant to destroy entire groups of frigates. And in the end, you are just a more powerful frigate, the Assault frigate, but it still is just a frigate class ship. So you do have to remember that and take that into consideration when you do choose your fights. All right, so now that I do have everything that I need in my cargo hold and I am ready to go, we can continue on this roam and I am gonna go check the Galente and Keldari side now. So let's see what kind of mayhem we can get over there. All right, he did go for me first, and I am outside his blaster range now. Now, this is why I do like the web version of my vengeance over the stable dual repping one, because without the web, I cannot pin things like this or lock down cruisers either. All right, so right now, good fight, brother. Give this guy a little bit of ram and scrap here, try and wake him up. He's not even trying to shoot me. He does have me locked up, but he isn't firing. Hello? Bye. I get his pod here too. Looks like he spent more time on his tune than he did his build. Oh, nice little Kaldari destroyer. He is close to the beacon. Ooh, you like that? Oh, he's nuding me. I can pressurize me. If it's one, I can hold it. Outside his range a little bit there. Let's go back in a little. Doesn't have a web on me, so I do have velocity utility here. I think he was heavy shield base. He's cracking hard. See, he's got some structure. Nope. All right, he's going down. Uh, GG, man, good fight. Ooh, you let me get your pod too? All right, let me send you home. All right, it does look like he did do everything properly. The only mistake here was he has a small shield extender instead of a medium one, and he does have just T1 weapons. All right, we did manage to do a local sweep of all of the destroyers available to engage, and I did see on my way out here a couple cruisers, so I am going to try to engage those as well. Noting to ourselves that engaging any cruiser class vessel is incredibly hard in any frigate class ship, so I probably will go down. But that is the risk that you have to take to get the reward of getting such a higher class kill. And you yourself should always take the risk and get out there and try it on the battlefield. And don't be afraid, you guys, to get in cruisers cruisers or bigger class ships as well because you should see a lot more cruisers out on the battlefield as they do cost around the same price if not less of a solid fitted assault frigate or even a solid fitted navy destroyer as remember you guys the cruiser itself can take on five frigates or two. now that we're repaired up and ready to go let's see if we can strike out All right, we are seeing a lot of heavier targets out on the battlefield, so I'm going to try to go for them and risk it. Oh, I think he's leaving. All right, I do see an executor navy issue here. Now, if this thing crits me once, I am pretty much dead. Oh, I am lucky here. He is close. Let's see if we can get on him and hold it. All right, looks like he is manually piloting on the screen. Yeah, I can not beat it. have a little bit more agility than he does, but he is managing to straighten out a little bit here, so I should count the reactions come on. Maybe I should heat my engine, but I might want to save all the heat I can for repping, but it doesn't look good. Oh, this sucker's plated up. Take me forever. Oh, it looks like he's even got a reactive hardener. You son of a bitch. Gonna hurt. Get away from me, this could hurt. Oh. Oh. Curve you little friggy. Oh, 
that would hurt. I caught the rep on that one, but it would last me to half. Oh! Oh no! Oh, he's gonna break me next. Great. He's beating up. Uh. Hold it. We're gonna get under that. Oh man, I didn't need the boosters. I feel the boosters are spawn here. Charges. It's getting risky. Did take off a quarter of his life. I know it doesn't seem like much, you guys, but to a frigate that only has about 200 choice of DPS on the field, it's a lot. Ah! Now I gotta get out of here. Drive yeah, active. Next time. All right, you guys, now we can go ahead and look at the kill mails from those fights. And if we look at the first kill mail from Hayden here, who was the Karakul Navy issue. Now, you guys, his downfall was he did not have a target painter or some way to increase my small signature radius to be able to apply more with his heavy assault missiles. Because if your signature radius is under minimum 50, you do have a hard time applying any good amount of damage when it does come to heavy assault missiles. But it was still a good fight, Hayden. And when we look at the kiting Tristan that was piloted by Patty Wack here. It was a good pilot to piloting skill battle and in the end I did manage to be able to outsmart him and get the tackle when I do believe he was having cap issues on my sling but it was still a fun fight Patty. And if we look at the algos here from Casimir I did learn later in the game that he was a newer player so I did send some isk that way and I hope to see you out on the battlefield again my friend. We did get a lot of good fights in this room you guys and that is why I had to break it into two parts now remember if you made it all the way to the end and you did not see the first part you can check it down in the description below and i hope you guys are all staying safe out there please do like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace